Hello there. In this session, we're going to understand how we're going to use the service hooks and integrate with the third party cool a tool called as Trello. So in this, I'm going to click on project settings. So here you see, I mean, if you click on this organization, this is your organization, right? We see on the top, it's organization here on the left, you see organization settings. So we don't need to click here. Instead, I'll open a project like any of the project which you have. And then we're going to click on project settings on the left. I'll click in the project settings on the left hand side under the general tab, you will see a service hook. I'll click on that service hook and in that service hook once it loads it gonna ask me hey create a subscription for that so currently it is loading let it load sometime it takes some time to load so once it's loaded here i'll create a subscription on the top if you read it says integrate with your favorite services by notifying them when event happen in your project so that's what we discussed in the previous session whenever any activity happened in Azure DevOps, you want certain event to or action to be performed over the other third party tool. So let's create a subscription by clicking on create. So these are all the tools which you can integrate with. For the time being, let's start demoing with the Trello. So if you don't know what Trello is, let me just demo that. I'll take to my Trello. This is the Trello uh, portal or you say Trello the third party tool so see this tool is exactly same as board remember how board works right I mean here you created a work item like it's kind of a work item and if you wish to move this work item from one board I mean from one in progress to complete it works the same so this Trello is working exactly as a board it it works as a Kanban board as you have seen in your Azure board. So here you can also move the work item here and there. Like we have seen, we can create the work item here as well. But here it is not called as work item here. It is called as list. I mean, in the, in, uh, under the list, it is called as tasks. So I mean, these are the list in progress completed blocked so there it there it was called less columns or you say a state so here, here it is little different only the terminology different uh, differs but rest everything is same okay so it's if you want to consider consider this as exactly similar as a kanban board under the kanban board you see uh, in the azure boards you see the board where you can move the work item here and there under the different column so it's exactly the same so we're going to integrate this thing azure devops with the trello so i'll just select trello and click on next once i do that it states hey which action item you want to perform so for this demo what i want to do i want to create a work item so i'll just select this when a work item is created so what i'm trying to do here is when a work item is created in azure devops I want the same work item to be created in Trello. I'll give you the live example, live use case. For example, whenever a team is migrating from Trello to Azure DevOps or from Azure DevOps to Trello, then in that case, if I'm creating a work item in here, then there can be a requirement that, hey, in like for the time being, once the migration is not yet completed, please keep on creating the similar kind of work which you are creating in Azure DevOps into the Trello as well. So basically in order to not to duplicate things manually creating one by one, instead whenever a work item is created in Azure DevOps, a same work item should be created in Trello itself. So that can, can be a use case. I'll just click on work item is created. So what happens in this I want when a work item is created in Azure DevOps, the same work item should be created in Trello. So that's my use case. And here I'll select area path. Any work item type is any, meaning any of the work item is created. It should be created in Trello, right? So I'll just click on next. See, whenever you work from, with Azure DevOps to any third party tool, like in this case, Trello, we have to authenticate. 
so likewise here we need to provide a token because Trello is a third party tool and in order to work with Azure DevOps and Trello we need to provide the token so I'll just simply click on get it now basically I'll be needing a token so as to say that hey I'm authenticating my Azure DevOps to integrate with Trello I'll just simply uh, click on allow that will create a token for me I'll copy this token basically I need to provide this token into my Trello I'll just provide this token so once I provide that and you see it is refreshing and you see it it displays the three boards so in Trello I have three boards demo one board dev DevOps my board so if I take you to my Trello here you see the three same same kind of board demo one dev DevOps and my board so only after authentication it uh, it highlighting or it displaying me the three boards because it has already authenticated so in this case I'm gonna use my board I'll just select here as my board in here and I'll give the list for example meaning on which list you want to populate here so I'll just mention okay display in the in progress list so I'll just mention whenever work item is created it should display in in progress column or you say a list here that is in this case and that's all we just need to click on test so what it does is it will just do a test that hey it succeeded or not so this test got succeeded and then we can click on finish so we have created one service hook now we have to test it in order to test it I'll again go to my project this is my project go to the boards under the boards I'll create a new work item so let's say it's let's create an ABC bug here in this I'll just mention throttling is being observed basically I'm just creating a work item <clears throat> which states that hey some throttling is being observed I'll just mention the description please review the limits and here I'll just also mention created in ADO meaning I have created an ADO and just click on save in now I'll go to the project settings again and go to the service hooks and if you see here I'll, I'll just I'll just uh, click on history click on history so if you see here I have created this work item and it is succeeded right you remember I have created this bug right throttling is being observed created in ADO so it's it got succeeded so it's showing me the history what processes it has been done doing so I'll come here in the Trello board and if you remember while creating the Trello I have mentioned that hey create a work in the in progress list so I'll just go to the down and in the end if you see it's the same work item is being created over here so if you click on here so if you see here the same work item which we have created in Azure DevOps is being showing up here so throttling is being observed created in ADO and if you see the uh, bug number it is 18 and here also it is 18 and if you go here and we'll go to the work items here also it is 18 so everything will be the same here if you see area path is QA engineer iteration sprint 3 if you want to validate it is the same thing so what I want to demonstrate in this in this demo whenever you create a work here any work item in here the same work item is being created in your Trello if you want to see some one more let's create a review I'll just mention please review the source code I'll also mention created in ADO and click on save so I I have created this work item and if you go to the Azure uh, Trello this time and refresh this again and then we'll check the similar kind of thing in the in progress so I'll go here so here if you see it's the same thing got created please review the source code created in 
ATO. So it's a 19. Earlier it was 18. So that's the demo for the how you integrate with service hook and the Trello. Likewise, you can integrate the service hook with any of the services, any of the services which is being mentioned here. Like I was giving you an example for Teams and Slack, right? Meaning whenever any activity happened in your Azure DevOps, you want some notification to be get in your Microsoft Teams, right? So, or maybe even Slack. So that's how it works. So I hope you enjoyed this session. I'm in the next session. We're going to understand more in depth knowledge. Uh, so feel free to join me over there. In case you have any queries or any doubt, please let me know. I want this session to be making. I want this to be very interactive. I know we are in the video virtual, but I want you to ask me the questions. I'll be happy to answer those questions. And if I if you want me to improve or add any of the scenarios, feel free to advise me on that as well. I'll, I'm happy to add those scenarios. Your feedback really matters for me. I'll be there for you always and I will want you to achieve more and grow more. Thank you and we'll be meeting soon in the next session.